Hello, welcome to your love reading. So this is a no contact check in. All right, if you've been in no contact with someone, let's take a look and see what the vibes are and what is going on. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for being here. All right, let's see. So what is the overall energy at this time for no contact and what's going on? What's happening in this no contact energy? All right, let's see. No contact. Oh, look at that. And look at that high priestess here. Look at that high priestess energy just sitting there. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is which is very nice, right? Very informative. Now, that high priestess comes in and it of course looks very beautiful. Now, this high priestess is just all about silence. It's all about silence, but it's also our intuitive natures are kicking in. So if you haven't been talking to someone, I promise you, and you know this for sure, that you've been getting a lot of messages intuitively, possibly dreams, possibly just feeling this person's energy, picking up on their vibe, and just receiving messages, okay? Now, these, these could be messages in terms of how you should go about dealing with this, how you should move forward with this, or again, it could also feel like this energy of, I feel okay in this silence, all right? For some of you, again, uh, you may not be translating the messages as you should, right? I know sometimes we'll have dreams at times and the messages are so awkward. It's like, why did I have a dream of having a conversation with this person and this person, you know, uh, my car broke down and, and just so so much weird vibes, but they're all messages, all right? But from what I'm feeling here is the both of you are in this space of collecting intuitive messages from one another. With that King of Cups here, uh, there's still emotions, there's still deep emotions here, and then we have the Two of Wands here. So a lot of emotions, but also someone here is asking themselves, does this person even care? Does this person even care or is this someone that I truly want to build some sort of future with, right? Like we had such a great connection. I'm not understanding to some degree why I'm even questioning this because of what we felt, because of what we had. So this is where I feel like we sort of get off track at times in, in, in terms of thinking like, what is it that I should do now? you know, what direction I should be on, what should I do with this person, is this person coming back, is this person returning, does this person care, all these questions. But what I think is so important during this time is to really sit in silence and to really um, understand, you know, some of the, the sorts of conversations that we've had in the past, some of the experiences that we've had in the past here, okay? So that's going to be so important. You know, the high priestess is a very, very powerful energy, extremely powerful. And it's it talks a lot about spiritual work. It talks a lot about understanding the mystery of things, but also it talks about sitting in stillness and being still and allowing everything to go the way that it needs to go in the way and allowing things to flow here. Some of you are actually, I'm just going to say this, it doesn't mean that it's you. Some of you are actually going to move in a space where not only are you going to go deep and start understanding certain things that this person has said to you in the past, but you're going to go so deep where you're going to start understanding when you were supposed to let go a long time ago. Some of you are also going to go as deep as understanding, wow, this is someone here that was struggling at some point emotionally. Okay. So I feel like it's a very gentle energy. It's a very, at times it could be uncomfortable with this high priestess, but uh, I feel like overall here, you're in a space where you're starting to understand where your truth lies. All right. So let's dig a little bit and just see it, you know, and again, the high priestess talks about intuition. Um, it talks about inner knowing. It talks about spiritual insight. Some of you are literally picking up on this person's confusion. You've been picking up on it. You've been feeling it, but you're not allowing it to confuse you. You understand? So you're getting all of this feedback like, wow, why am I, or why am I, 
picking up on this person's energy? Why am I dreaming of this person so much? Why is this person constantly on my mind? I'm not, you know, delusional. We have a connection. But it's very important to trust your instincts and trust what you feel and trust the truth. All right? But again, you're, someone here is picking up on the King of Cups, picking up on someone's empathy, picking up on someone's um, questionable nature. Okay? So let's dig a little bit deeper and see what's happening here. It's a beautiful energy. I love this energy. Let's get a little bit more here in terms of this person's energy during this time of silence. During this time of silence here. <clears throat> Oh, wow, we have the world. Hmm. Show me what else this person is feeling at this time and thinking. Hang man. This person, their perspective is changing. This person is looking at things completely different from how you think or thought that they were looking at things. I feel like at some point this person tried to bury themselves in work. They tried to bury themselves in this energy of even connecting with other people. Okay. Um, and I feel like for some of you that may be defined as, well, this person doesn't care or this person's not interested. It's not that. It's one of those things where I'm trying to get out of my head. I'm trying to not overwhelm myself with thoughts. Um, but I feel like this is someone here that's going to ultimately have to face their thoughts. All right. They have to face their thoughts here. They have to face their emotions here. But if you found out, and that's for some of you, found out that this person has started connecting with other people, it is, uh, it is one of those things that they're doing to try to not overthink, overfeel. So I guess I would categorize it as running away from their feelings, running away from the things that they need to con confront. Okay. Anything else in terms of how they're feeling at this time? Oh, wow. We have the Ace of Wands here. So they do think about a new beginning. They do think about contacting, reaching out here, but we have the Five of Pentacles here, of course. All right. There has been some sort of abandonment. There has been a deep sense of abandonment here. And I feel like this person's struggling with the idea of reaching out and facing what they've done or facing what they've done to this relationship, which has been, again, ultimately pushing it away, maybe abandoning it, um, treating it as if it wasn't important. So someone here is understanding that. Ace of Wands, yes, I would love to reach out. I would love to say something to you. I would love to talk to you. But... How do I do all of that when I need to at least face what I've done or face what happened or face maybe being rejected again? Maybe you're the person that rejected this person. Who knows? Either way, when the thought of reaching out comes into someone's head, the first thing they think about is, I've trusted you, you trusted me, and I failed. And I feel like that really holds them back. And there's something big about trust here that I feel like has been severed, okay? And no one here is in a, in a place where it's like, I'm, I want to be the person to break the silence. So I feel like someone here could be, I even, I, I'm getting a number of like five months, five weeks. There's something deep about that, okay? Maybe I was the last person to send a message. It's been two months, you know? And nothing, nothing like this person hasn't even tried here. I'm also getting this energy of like small talk that took place maybe recently. Doesn't have to be for everyone. But someone here had this like very small talk, cheerful energy, really quick conversation, but nothing to it. And at the end of that conversation, someone felt extremely abandoned or felt like, you know, things weren't addressed. So it's still leaving that energy of what else? What's next? All right. So let's take a look and see your energy. And from there, we'll jump into the extended and we'll take a look at what is happening in terms of the next chapter between you and this person and what you could expect from this energy. All right. So spirit again will guide that energy and allow you to get a better understanding of how this person ultimately wants to move forward and ultimately how this person feels about moving forward. So let's see how my viewers are doing when it comes to this connection. In silence, please. 
So you're standing your ground, okay? You're standing your ground. It could be from a place of being extremely hurt, extremely disappointed here. I feel like there's this energy of I need to just keep myself balanced. I need to keep myself balanced. Some of you, you know, this person could view you as changing. This person could view you as being very protective, being very guarded, um, protecting yourself. Okay, and I feel like that's where you stand. Um, you could be a parent. You could have a child with this person. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like you're protecting your inner child. Okay, or some of you could be protecting your child, but more so protecting my inner child, the inner child that doesn't deserve this back and forth. So there's this energy of I have to protect myself at this time, and even you, it's like I, you know, I really need to focus on my work, and I need to try to find a way to move forward here. And that this is what I find interested in this moving forward energy. Why? Because we have the three of wands, which talks about someone popping up. This always talks about someone popping up out of nowhere, okay? Popping up out of nowhere, popping up wanting to maybe discuss, maybe check on you, whatever it is, someone's popping up, and that could be you, that could be them. We'll take a look down the line here, okay? So the next energy that we will be looking into is your next steps when it comes to this person, all right? So we are going to take a look at this person's feelings moving forward in the next two to six weeks all right what is this person's feelings this person's actions their intentions your feelings your actions and your intentions and the overall outcome all right bottom of the deck here we have denial Look at this. Both of you may be in a space where it's like you don't believe. You don't believe in this any longer. It's interesting. All right. So we'll jump in and take a look and see where spirit wants to take you. I love you. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, I have many different services. All right. Question services. Um, I have conversation services where you may ask me about your person and we will see what spirit has to say about that journey with you and that individual. All right, so stay tuned. Uh, the preview is up next, and I'll see you over at the extended. Have a good one. So this is bothering someone, ultimately. It becomes a really big, like, weight on their shoulder. Um, just feeling like I may lose you or feeling like you may not be in my future again bothers me. So...